of a lie. Today I'm making a traditional Egyptian dessert. It's called Better Ford. Now we usually have this dessert in Easter or Christmas. It's when we're breaking one of those fasts and we're ready to celebrate with cute little biscuits or cookies. And there are just very few ingredients, but these cookies are soft, sweet, and delicate. So let's get started. I'm excited to try this out. First off, to make bits of Ford, you do need a cookie press. It is quite important for this. Um, I think I only ever use it for bits of Ford. Um, and for the decorating and the sticking together and assembling the cookies or the biscuits, you can use apricot jam, strawberry jam, uh, chocolate sprinkles, desiccated coconut, and have on hand dark chocolate milk. Now to make the better Ford, you need 500 grams of unsalted butter, three and a half cups of white sugar or caster sugar, two eggs left at room temperature, four cups of plain flour, and half a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Okay, so now first things first, take the butter that's been left at room temperature um, and, and place it into your KitchenAid and when it's a bit fluffy, add in the sugar and make it nice and fluffy then the eggs. So let's get started. And we're adding three quarters of a cup of white sugar or granulated sugar. Now I'm going to add a creamy texture and this is where I add the two eggs that have been left also at room temperature. Continue mixing that for about three minutes on a low. Add in the half teaspoon of vanilla paste while it's mixing. Okay, it's been mixing on a low spin for about three minutes and you can see it's got this beautiful creamy texture. And right, now we're just going to add the four cups of flour. flour. Now mix it on a low because it will fly everywhere until it all joins and it looks like a nice thick biscuit texture. There will be some cleaning to do after this. Okay that's come into a beautiful biscuity texture as you can see it's not coming off my finger as well and that's what you want. Mm. I'm going to take some of the mixture and put it inside my cookie press and pick whatever pattern I want. I've got some parchment paper here already and I'm going to just press down on the parchment paper with the shape I want and just continue on and then move on to the next shape. Let's get started. You might need a seat for this, this does take a bit of time and get comfortable.
Please remember to subscribe if you liked what you've seen today. And if you want to keep up to date with more videos that I post every week, click on the little bell button. Remember to like, share or comment. Thanks! Bye!